once you start with the Brahma Viharas, stay with the Brahma Viharas. I'm not real sure what, why it is, but there's a real fascination with the breath meditation. And almost everybody that does a breath meditation does not follow the directions of the sutta. And where you get, say, in a 10-day retreat with a Brahma Vihara, doing the breath meditation to get to the same level is going to take between six and eight weeks. It's a lot different because it's hard to keep with your daily activities. It's easy to carry around loving kindness and radiate that. But if you don't have the relaxed step on the in-breath and the relaxed step on the out-breath, you're not doing it in the correct way. And it just takes longer to do that kind of meditation. I'm personally, I'm hooked on the Brahma Viharas because your progress is so fast. And that's one of the advantages that the Buddha talks about when you're doing loving kindness meditation or the Brahma Viharas. Your progress is the fastest. It's faster than any other kind of meditation. I did the breath meditation. Now I'm going to be doing loving kindness meditation. But people get attached to the idea, well, this is what the Buddha taught. Actually, he didn't teach that near as much as he did the Brahma Viharas. He taught the Brahma Viharas a lot. Why? Because your progress is fast. And there is real personality change with the Brahma Viharas. With the breath meditation, not so much. If it does come in, use the six hours and go back to the, the object of meditation, which is metta or whatever.